Could revelations from Tesla's upcoming battery day mark the beginning of a new era for Tesla and electric vehicles? And could it mark the beginning of the end for big auto as we know it? I'm Jonathan Stewart and welcome to Cleaner Watt. In just a couple minutes, we're going to dive into the big three key revelations that I believe Tesla is going to communicate at their battery day on September 22nd. I believe they're going to reveal the details on how they are going to supply all the batteries they need. That's going to include batteries they produce themselves and of course the partners they have contracts with. I believe they're also going to detail how they are going to reduce cost through manufacturing efficiencies and also battery recycling. And I believe they're going to talk a lot about the dry battery electro technology that they got when they purchased Maxwell Technologies and how that will increase their battery density. In just a minute, we'll dive deeper into each one of these three categories and talk about what I expect them to reveal at Battery Day. But before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about Tesla versus Big Auto and really the state of the market today and where I see the future going. Over the last several years, it has become very clear that EVs are here to stay and that EVs are the future. Tesla is of course the leader in electric vehicles and most of Big Auto is lagging far behind. Most big auto manufacturers are far behind when it comes to the technology that's built into electric vehicles, also the efficiency of electric vehicles, and most importantly behind on the battery supply needed to build these electric vehicles. When you couple this with declining global auto sales and a bad outlook for the future of internal combustion engine vehicles, this makes the future of big auto not look very bright. If you want to be successful in electric vehicles, you must have a good battery supply chain in place and you must have enough batteries to produce the electric vehicles that you need to. One big indicator of how the market and how the general public believes that the future of a company is looking is of course how their stock price is doing. When a company is growing and they have a lot of new technology and they appear to have a lot of growth still ahead of them, the stock price will continue to rise. Whereas when the future of the company is not looking so bright and it looks like their market share could be shrinking, the stock price often goes down. So when it comes to Tesla, of course, it makes sense with all the exciting things coming that their stock price is rising. And not just rising, it's actually rising really quickly. Most recently it eclipsed $2,000. On the flip side, big companies like GM, their stock price is down year to date. And also Ford stock is substantially down year to date. So now that we've laid a basic foundation of what the automotive market looks like right now and what the future might hold, let's talk about the big three key revelations that I believe Tesla will cover during battery day. The first big topic that I believe Tesla will talk about is of course battery supply. We know for sure at Battery Day, Tesla is going to give demonstrations and show their new pilot battery cell manufacturing lines in Fremont. We're going to find out a lot of details around their new battery manufacturing processes. We should also find out if this is the production methods that they plan to use in their upcoming Gigafactories like Gigafactory Texas, Berlin, and Shanghai. When it comes to battery supply, we're also going to learn a lot more about the battery contracts that Tesla has been signing recently and their battery partnerships. We do know that Panasonic will remain, at least for a while, a key battery manufacturing partner because they recently put another $100 million investment in Gigafactory Nevada. I believe we're also going to learn a lot more about the battery contracts that Tesla has with CATL in China and also LG Chem. When it comes to battery supply, I believe Tesla is really going to discuss their new plan to partner with as many battery manufacturers as possible while also producing their own batteries so they can have multiple supply chains and multiple sources for batteries. This will also allow them to use the most energy dense batteries in applications like the Tesla Semi where weight is a big deal. 
The second topic that I believe Tesla will talk a lot about in detail is how they are going to reduce the production cost of their battery cells. I believe they're going to talk a lot about the implementation of their Maxwell Technologies dry battery electrode processes and also their recent purchase of the High Bar Systems Company and show how they're using automation from that company. I believe their faster production processes with the dry battery electrode will lead to some serious cost reductions and we should find out details about that. They possibly are going to be able to achieve a battery at the pack level with a cost of less than $100 per kilowatt hour. Also, battery production with this dry battery electrode process will be able to happen with a smaller footprint and this will allow Tesla to either make more batteries with a current footprint or to actually shrink the footprint of a battery factory and still produce the same amount of batteries. Also, I believe that Tesla is going to reveal a lot of details about how they're going to be recycling old batteries directly at these gigafactories so they can actually reuse a lot of the minerals and reuse a lot of the metals found in these batteries. Shout out to Galileo Russell at Hyperchange and he did a whole video about this that I'll put in the description below, but he did some great research and I really believe he's onto something here. So when you combine this all together, the dry battery electrode processes learned from Maxwell Technologies, of course the high bar systems, automation, and then you couple that with recovering a lot of metals from these old batteries, it's really going to allow Tesla to reduce the cost of their batteries. And I believe we'll find out really good details at battery day. And also I believe at Battery Day, the third big thing that we're gonna learn is that Tesla is going to reveal the energy density improvements of their batteries. So not only does the Maxwell Technologies dry battery electrode process allow for a cheaper battery manufacturing process because you take out some of the steps, it also allows for more energy dense batteries. JBR007 on Twitter had a good thread where he talked about this process and how it can actually increase the density of batteries. Here are some quotes from that thread. The dry coating technology offers thicker layers of cathodes and anodes, which can increase the energy density of batteries according to industry experts. Based on the technology, Maxwell has been aiming to introduce batteries with energy density greater than 350 watt hours per kilogram in the early 2020s. The energy density of nickel cobalt manganese NCM811 batteries, which LG Chem supplies for Tesla Model 3 sedans manufactured in China, ranges between 230 and 240 watt hours per kilogram, according to Samsung Securities. So the new battery cells from Tesla should be a lot more energy dense based on this technology and based on everything we know, and they also should cost less to produce. Therefore, that will give Tesla a huge competitive advantage in the market. As the market continues to shift more and more towards EVs, and as Tesla remains the market leader, I believe big auto will continue to dwindle and it will shrink, and eventually Tesla and maybe a handful of other EV auto manufacturers will be the leaders in the industry. I do believe all these revelations that we're going to learn at Tesla's upcoming battery day will mark the beginning of the end for big auto. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button because that helps other people find the video. And also, I'd like to take a moment here at the end of the video to thank the Patreon supporters which support me every month and help me bring this content to you. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, you can find a link in the description below. Thank you so much.